What's going on guys, it's Inspector Freck here, and today I'm bringing you a updated setup video as a thank you for 50 subs. And um, this came a whole lot faster than I thought, but luckily I had uh, some new additions and some changes to my gaming setup so I can give you something special, kind of. Um, things have been, the room has been rearranged a whole lot. Um, things have been different, new desk obviously. Uh, maybe I'll get a picture of the old desk and see, show you exactly what happened, it's still in the living room. Um, we end up getting this uh, whole set right here. What? You want to be in the freaking video too? You were already in a video today. Not any no, time. Go away. <laughs> uh, we got this whole set right here. It's a desk, L-shaped desk with a, this uh, shelving unit right here uh, for, look, like 120 bucks, something like that. 120 bucks. And um, yeah, a really good set so far. It took <laughs> like five hours to put together. But um, yeah, it was it's really worth it. It's a really nice set. Um, a shelving unit, we just, hey, we just, uh, got done putting some stuff on it finally, got the printer down there, printer paper, all that kind of shit, but, um, <clears throat> you know, yeah, we set up now, um, there's that Asus monitor I talked to you guys about, this is your first time watching a, one of my setup videos, that is a 23 inch Asus L, L, LCD LED backlight, um, monitor, it has a seven millisecond response time. I don't use it for game for playing games or anything. Um, Got much neater wiring down below than last time, uh, obviously. Um, Got a laptop here right now. It is going to be replaced after we go down to Jersey in fuck, not this next Monday, the Monday after. Um, we're going back down to Jersey, so I'll have an, uh, um, another kind of logish kind of video to put up for you guys then. Uh, and I'm picking up my mom's old monitor because she got rid of her desktop and she got a laptop but only so I'll be taking her monitor from her uh, then you got over here you got my jeez uh, my amplifier for my tritons um, tritons are up there if you guys missed a set of video before they're the triton AX720s the black ops edition ones which is pretty cool because I liked all my stuff blacked out and um, and with the exception of my controller again yeah. I still haven't sent it in. I'm really debating sending it in now, especially because how shitty things have been the past uh, few days on on uh, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, you see the the Xbox 360. It's the 4 gigabyte internal. I have a 250 hard drive in there. Um, I believe Modern Warfare 3 is in there currently. I have some of you guys may be wondering how the hell I had the controller set up. Um, I just kind of found this out. I knew it was kind of common sense to me, but I just really actually did it for the first time. I have the wired controller plugged into the back uh, USB port and uh, I'm surprised I mean I know on the original Xbox 360 I don't think it worked like that you had to have it plugged up in front but it's nice that this new one has uh, the ability to do that because uh, it saves me a lot more wiring um, got my <laughs> I got my uh, my mic board I need to talk to everyone because I keep on misplacing that you guys know whoever plays with me I uh, got the 23 inch Samsung LED monitor which I game on it has a two millisecond response time, 100 million to one contrast ratio, like I've said before in my other videos. The Hot Pog PVR, uh, a lot of people after my, uh, would, I'm surprised, a lot of people after my last setup video asked me what I record with, and uh, right it is, uh, Hot Pog HD PVR. Uh, personally, after doing this for about a month and a half now, I've had quite a few problems with it. This is my second PVR, my second Hot Pog. Um, my original one, as I told you guys before, it just stop randomly recording it would only record for a few seconds and this one like I wasn't I was playing last night for like two or two and a half hours and um, I was not able to record because it wouldn't recognize the stuff the hot pog on my computer and it, there was no problem with my computer at all um, so uh, if you know if I don't know what else the other options are I know a lot of people use the black magic intensity pro um, that may be, you know, next time I get money or when this takes a crap or whatever, yeah, that's probably going to be my better option whenever this really does take a crap because uh, yeah, it's been nothing but problems and uh, it's a shame because I know so many people don't have problems with it, but I am and it takes one bad experience to ruin your view of things. But yeah, um, that motorcycle that was on my desk before in the last video, a picture of me and Danielle and uh, my spare wired controller because occasionally my one I have now doesn't work. And uh, Joey's piggy bank down there, and uh, yep, that's pretty much it. it uh, that converter down there, you didn't get a very good look at it last time. It's laying upside down right now. Uh, I still haven't 
really cleaned up all my wires. Uh, got the heater right there, so I uh, let me see if I can get a let me see if I can get a view of uh, this wire organizer here. Yeah, I got this thing from Staples. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's not very uh, sturdy or reliable, but uh, you know, it fell apart when I first started setting it up. But it's doing the job. It's keeping everything away from the heat. That way, when in the winter when heat kicks on, I don't have to worry about you know melting any wires or anything. Um, I'm probably for when the for when the summer comes around, probably in a few paychecks or whatever, I'm gonna get a cooling pad because uh, you know I'm right here by the window as you guys can see. And uh, anyone has a PBR and an Xbox, you know how hot these things get. So I'll probably get a cooling pad like for a laptop or something and put it underneath the Xbox at the very least um, to keep it from overheating because that's the last thing I need. And um, oh yeah, the other day when we were out, I ended up getting a. What the hell is this called? There's a shadow box or whatever for my jersey for that. Uh, the one they had to cut off me when I broke my collarbone. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it here. But there's a stitching where they stitch back together the jersey. And uh, yeah, they, they they mangled it pretty good. But luckily I got I got a new jersey um, afterwards, you know, later on in the season. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it, was, it was a couple hour project. Well, not a couple hour, like an hour project, me and Danielle. But um, anyway, guys. Thanks for 100 subs again, uh, or 100, geez, I wish. <laughs> Thanks for 50 subs again, and I uh, hope you guys like the setup video. Joe, you wanna say goodbye? You wanna say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, screw you then. Bye guys, see you later. Peace.